Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions allow me to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is on biology. Let's get to the demonstration. What you're observing here is the sexual and asexual reproductive structures of a fern. And, this, and today's demonstration, we'll be looking at this under the low power of a microscope. Ferns are vascular plants that have xylem and phloem. Xylem conducts water to the leaves called fronds, and phloem conducts sucrose made by photosynthesis in the leaves to the rest of the plant. Ferns have no seeds or flowers. Under the frond, a sporangia are formed. Sporangia hold reproductive spores from the sporophyte. A sporophyte is the non-sexual phase in alternation of generations. Alternation of generations refers to plants that alternate between two different life cycles. Haploid phase, half the number of chromosomes, and a diploid phase, the full number of chromosomes. Currently, a mature sporangium is formed, which is a structure that releases spores in meiosis. Meiosis is the stage of producing sex cells called gametes. The spores are released from the sporangium. The released spores grow up into a multicellular heart-shaped gametophyte, which is a haploid multicellular structure. It is that gametophyte that we will be looking at under the microscope, under low power, 100 times. The gametophyte has both male and female sex structures, which are multicellular. They help in cross-fertilization. From it, the anthridium releases sperm, and the archegonium releases eggs. When the sperm and egg unite, fertilization occurs, resulting in a zygote. A zygote is a diploid fertilized ovum. An ovum is a mature female reproductive cell. Ferns require water for fertilization because the sperm swims to the egg, unlike flowering plants which require bees to transport pollen to the female flower for fertilization. A zygote forms after the sperm swims to the egg. A zygote forms using mitosis, which is an asexual reproductive cycle. The resulting plant structure is called a sporophyte. This plant structure results in a multicellular fern plant. Under low power, we can see the fern prothallus, the young sporophyte. In this diagram that you're looking at right now, we see alternation of generations, the meiosis and mitosis stages. And this is what it looks like in natural life. Underneath the frond of a fern, you can see the sporangium as little pockets. Let's look at this under the microscope.
This is a Prothalius Young Sporo fight. A Prothalius Young Sporo fight. It is multicellular. And we will look at it under the microscope. It is very small. But it is multicellular. It has xylem and phloem in a mature fern plant. It's green from the stain. Here we can see the cells. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to keep looking down.